It's nice out, I'm so excited. Gonna go for a skateboard ride on the electric skateboard. Let's give it a little test. Oh, shoot. I'm giving it all it's got and it's not going anywhere. Oh, that's a problem. Um, especially a problem if you are trying to go for a ride right now. In this video, I'm gonna cover how to diagnose the jittery water problem and not having any power. Uh, with common tools you should have as an electric vehicle builder, a uh, voltmeter. So stay tuned. We'll go through how to diagnose the problem and fix the problem with this electric skateboard. Keyboard has electrical problem. A good place to start is checking the voltage of your battery. And it's done fairly simply with voltmeter in DC mode and through your charging port. So your charging port should show you your voltage of the battery. So there is a big problem. This is 25.9 volts. This is a 10S battery. So nominal charge for 10S battery is 36 volts. 25 volts below nominal. My bet is that there's problem with the cell or some results within the battery or the series connection. The voltage reading is enough for me to warrant taking everything off and checking everything thoroughly inside. I definitely know that there is a problem with the battery. So it could be connection of the battery or the charging system of the battery. So next, let's check both of those systems. Looking on the inside of the battery enclosure, you have your battery, you have your BMS, and below BMS is the ESC or VESC. Uh, the BMS and the battery, it's a 10 cell system. So far we checked the voltage from the charging port and it read 25 some volts. Uh, that has to filter through circuitry of the BMS. So let's get the BMS circuit out of this equation by checking voltage directly on the battery. So this is your directly to the battery source, positive, negative. And this is 29.2 volts. 29.2 volts with 10 cells. I mean, it's probable, but still there's a discrepancy. We have 29 here, 25 at the BMS. And yeah, something is off. So this warrants further looking into the battery. I'm gonna expose the BMS, expose the battery, check all the cells and see what cells are malfunctioning. Let's get to it. I know, I know for sure there's a problem with it because I put in my tester pack and hooked it up to the speed controller and check this out. So we eliminate the speed controller out of the problem equation and now we have to solve this. So next up, testing all the individual cells. We found our culprit, cell number three. How do we do it? Let me tell you, pretty simple. Take your voltmeter, hook it up to negative on negative side, and with your positive probe, you're gonna poke at balance cable, starting with cell one. So when you go to cell one, it shows you three volts. And how we cut cell three was by doing this, the voltage should increase roughly by three volts on each cell. I get to cell three, there's no difference between cell two and cell three. That's bad. That means that this cell, even though it's conductive, it's condu conducting electricity, but it has no charge. So it, it, it went bad, either from overuse or some connection issue. I'm gonna open it up and take a look. Been exposed. Like I mentioned before, it's cell number three, and something went bad with it. I think it's just got had a bad cell because I see no evidence of fire or overheating. So I think it just got unlucky and got a bad cell within this four round. And how do I know this? 
Well, back to the voltmeter. I use the positive end as my common end, and I'll test all the negative ends separately on uh, cell three. So one P, nothing. Two in second in parallel, nothing. Third in parallel, nothing. And this one is nothing. The problem has been definitively identified. It's cell three. To fix the problem and get this board into working order, we have to replace cell number three. There is a few caveats. At this point, all the cells are holding different voltages than uh, nominal voltage would be. Some of them are 3 volts, some of them are 3.6 volts. So my next move is to remove this cell. I'm going to charge up all the remaining cells to 4 point whatever, 1, 4.2 volts using the balance charger. And then create a new cell with a 4.2 volts and insert it into the equation. It sounds like a lot, but we'll break it down. Thank you. Hey guys, something the anteater forgot to tell you. Check the BMS transistors to see if they're burnt out before you reinstall the new cell. Visually. Check this out. Here I'm bringing all the cells to its full charge. I'm using this uh, eye charger to balance out everything. So I'll be charging them up to the max so that each cell is 4.2 volts. My cell that I'm building to replace the missing cell also has to be 4.2 volts. Bottom line is the voltage has to match. You can't have a 3 volt the rest of the system and then put it on a 4 volt battery cell. It's gonna Short. So either bring everything to 3 volts or bring everything up to 4 volts. Same voltage when you replace the cell. Using balance charger, I have balanced and charged the surviving 9 cells. So all these 9 cells are the same charge at 4.18. The new cell, which will be made out of 4 18650s, is also fully charged. So the new cell coming in, old cells that have survived, same voltage. It's very important that the voltage is the same between the new cell coming in, four in parallel, and all nine cells. Bye bye. Let's get this power pack repair done, replace the bad cell, and get everything nicely secured. When replacing a cell within a power pack, make sure that you use similar or identical 18650s to build your new cell replacement cell.
Let's check out this repair. You can see on one side, this thing just went in right here. And you can see the other side right here. Just went in. Oh, gosh darn, we got all 10 cells back together with no manager. Who's gonna manage all the cells? Me, 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 me. Oh shit. All right, let's get the BMS back into this equation because everybody needs a manager. Repairs and power pack are complete before everything is repackaged and we put it all back into the board. Let's do some checking with the voltmeter. We need to check the balance cable and make sure the series connection is verified correct. And how do you do that? Well, let's start with make sure that everything is connected and your bridge is connected so you should have a full fully functioning battery at this point bms is not attached just the bms cable first check the output of your power pack from your main battery terminal power pack terminal positive negative and 41.5 good all 10 cells have connected properly in series next check the balance cable to do that Connect the ne your negative probe of the voltmeter to the negative side of the whole battery, your battery negative, battery pack negative. Okay, negative probe is connected. Take your positive probe and test each wire coming in into the balance cable from BMS. So starting from the black wire, should be four volts. And then it should come up in increments of four volts. So it should be eight, 12, 16, 20, 25, 29, 33, 37, 41.4. Bringo, everything is there. Let's seal the deal. Attach this BMS back to the battery pack. Fairly simple if you remember where stuff goes. Battery negative cable right here goes to battery negative, even though it's wrong color, but that's battery negative. Charger negative, this goes to charger negative. This goes to charger positive from battery positive side. battery pack is complete, insulated, and ready for return into its designated skateboard. What's left to do is solder this wire into charger negative and solder this wire to charger positive 
and of course it does not hurt to check everything one more time just like we did before check the overall voltage and then check the balance cable and make sure all the balance cable is correct also check charging ability make sure that the battery takes on charge before you install everything here i am checking and making sure that the battery battery pack charges normally it takes on charge before i put it into the ride itself and that's the final check confirmation it is charging it's nearly fully charged so it's not going to be charging fast and uh, yeah job done that's it hopefully it helped please consider signing up to my channel i would really appreciate your patronage bye bye let's give it a test before everything goes back in Battery connected, power on, remote control, receiver powered on, transmitter powered on, and three, two, one. This completes battery repair tutorial. Hopefully it helped Leave something in the comments, whatever you want, questions, suggestions. Thank you. Come again and please sign up to my channel. I love you a long time. Bye-bye.